Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're checking out all the colors of the new MacBook. We have the silver, space gray, and gold here. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of the pros and cons here and uh, just give you some eye candy of the MacBooks so you can decide on a color if you haven't already decided that you're going to choose the same color as your iPhone 6 or iPad. But uh, yeah, here they are. They all retail for $1,300 and that's quite expensive for a laptop that does what it does but uh you're kind of paying for the looks of it the build quality of it and in the end for how small it is and it is quite small but we're going to talk about the colors here now my favorite color so far is the space gray color that's mainly because it's kind of very uh toned down it's it doesn't attract too much it's very quiet and subtle my second favorite color which i was contemplating on it being my favorite, but it ended up being my second favorite, is the silver color because it looks really, really clean and simple. If you want to go with a clean laptop that uh, doesn't get as dirty in smudges or anything, silver is going to be the way to go. These attract a little bit more smudges than the silver one just because of the, uh, the colors here. But uh, yeah, this one's going to be cleaner most of the time. The Apple logos all get really smudgy and dirty, but they're all colored to the color of the MacBook, which is kind of cool. So this one's a little bit smoky, and then that was a little bit gold. And it kind of, I like the contrast between the silver and the black keys. I like these two because it's kind of just like flat, an overall flat color. And uh, this looks kind of cool because it just really pops, and you have uh, two completely different colors. I'm not a fan of the gold, and you guys know that from the iPhone 6 videos, but anyone that likes the gold, you're really gonna love this color because it kind of just, it's very subtle. It's a subtle type of gold. It doesn't, it's an ugly gold, and it does change a lot depending on the lighting and kind of angle that you hold it. So if I move this, you can kind of see how it changes color, and uh, that's kind of cool. But uh, definitely my two to go would be these, and, uh, yeah, you can kind of see them there and just, you know, I think it's a side on your own. They all have the black borders around the screen, which is very important because that's great when watching media. I hate that the MacBook Air still has the plastic border around it or the aluminum border around it because uh, it just ruins the whole experience. It's great when it's all glass like this, like on the Retina MacBook Pro here and uh, mostly every other new laptop in the market. But uh, hopefully they update the MacBook Airs to uh, look like these as well. And after using them for a few hours, the the quality of the screen, first of all, is amazing. The only cons about the computers in general, just to talk a little bit about that, is that the battery doesn't last very long. It does charge really fast, but it doesn't last very long. So that's one thing to keep in mind. We'll probably get a better battery life in the next gen, but that's still a long ways off. It has, of course, its pros and cons. If you're someone who's into mainly, or if you're a student or if you're into journalism typing or just browsing the web, this is gonna be a perfect laptop. And it's also great because you can, if you need to use things like Pixelmator, Photoshop, Final Cut, and you know, you, you gotta use them sparingly because the computer can't really take too much. But if you really need to, you can get it to work. Maybe not the fastest around, but it'll work and you won't be slowed down or limited by the software. One thing I want to note that someone asked me in one of the comments, they said that if you could charge one laptop with the other laptop, and I'm happy to say that you can. Since both ends of the cable that it comes with are USB type C, you can charge or you can connect it to one computer. So the first computer that you connect it to is the one that's going to be taking the power away from. The second one is the one that will be charged. So, and there you go, it's charging now, which is kind of cool if you have a friend with this computer and you're dying and he still has 100%. You can go ahead and take some if uh, there's no wall plug around you, which uh, just really cool little feature. And this is probably going to work on all new devices that support type C. So definitely something cool to look at. But guys, this was pretty much it for this video. There's not much to talk about this time around because not many of the features here change like on the iPhones where you have a white front and a, and a different color back and things like that. But you know, now you know a little bit and you've seen the MacBooks a little bit more and you can decide amongst yourselves and the uh, paper just fell back there. But uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter 
at rmrdnl at dark gadgets or on the website or here on youtube you can just comment down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can aside from that guys you know take care and uh i'll catch you guys in the next video